we will be picking up where we left off with abdominal x-ray in five minutes. So if you haven't seen part one, make sure you go back and watch that video first. Let's go ahead and start our timer. So here we have an AP upright view of the lower abdomen. Looking at our bowel gas, we can see the cecum over here in the right lower quadrant as it continues as the ascending colon. If we look at the lateral aspect of the left hemi abdomen, we can see continuation of that descending colon as it enters the left hemi pelvis and becomes the sigmoid colon. Continuing to follow the bowel gas, the sigmoid colon eventually communicates with the rectum. And within the rectum, we can identify that there's a mild amount of stool. We can also see some shadows of the psoas muscles continuing inferiorly. We can see the vertebral bodies with L3, L4, and L5, the bilateral sacroiliac joints, which are approximated, the iliac wings, there's no focal lesions or fracture identified, the bilateral hips are also approximated with minimal degenerative changes involving the femoracetabular joints. And within the pelvis and the lower abdomen, we don't see any abnormal calcifications. So there's no concern for renal calculi. The sacrum is partially obscured by overlying bowel gas, which is not abnormal. Last but not least, we wanna take a look at the external soft tissues and again, make sure there are no defects. And they appear to be normal here. I hope you've enjoyed this video on reading abdominal x-rays in five minutes. If you'd like to, check out some of my other videos as well. Thank you.